Most payment card numbers are 16 digits long. The leftmost the left six digits represent a unique identification number for the bank who has issued the card. The next two digits determine the type of the card. Digits 9 to 15 are the serial number of the card and the last digit is used as a control digit to verify whether the card is whether the card number is valid. Hence, if somebody enters the card number incorrectly, there is a high chance that a payment software can easily determine it. Most cards use an algorithm invented by Hans Peter Lund, a nice fellow from IBM. According to Lund's algorithm, you can determine if a credit card number is valid as follows. 1. Double every second digit from right to left. If this doubling results in a two digit number, subtract 9 from it, get a single digit. 2. Now add all single digit numbers from step 1. 3. Add all digits in the odd, place, odd places from right to left in the credit card number. 4. Sum the results from steps 2 and 3. 5. If the result from step 4 is divisible by 10, the card number is valid, otherwise it is invalid. For example, this is for test 1, which the number is valid. For test 2, the number is not valid. So, validating credit card numbers isn't hard, but it does get a bit tedious by hand. Your task is to read several card numbers from the input and determine whether each one is a valid card number or not. I'm using Python for the solution, so the first line is an integer to n for the number of cards to verify. The for loop, one line for each card to verify. Each test is consistent of four space separated four digit strings. Output. For each test case, I'll put a line containing yes or no, depending on whether the card number is valid or not. There's no constraints. So this is the example for input and output. There's four test cases. Number one is tests. Number two is MasterCard. Number three is Discover. And number four is Visa. Right.
This Python code begins by reading from the user an integer n, which stands for the quantity of credit card numbers to be verified. A loop that repeats n times is then entered. The program receives a credit card number from the user and stripes or, and strips out any spaces before reading it within the loop. The loon method is then used by the program to verify the credit card number. A straightforward checksum method called the loon algorithm is used to confirm a number of identifications, including credit card numbers. The loon algorithm operates by sliding leftward from the rightmost digits of the credit card number. Every other digit is multiplied by 2, and if the outcome is higher than or equal to 10, the two digits are added together. For instance, if a digit is 5, it is multiplied by 2 to become 10, and the outcome is 1 plus 0 is 1. When a digit is multiplied by 16 from 8, the outcome is 1 plus 6, which is 7. The program then sums all the non double digits and all the resultant digits after doubling each digit and summing each other digit. The program outputs yes and indicates that the credit card number is legitimate if the total is divisible by 10. If not, no is shown by the program.